welcome back to this week's recap on Iron Valor. After defeating Festandia, we collected the last book and constructed the portal on Awoken's library again. Uh, Amelia will reach over and grab it and then kind of shake it a little bit and slap it, <laughs> dust it off. <laughs> okay. It smells like death. Everything smells like death. There's a dead person on it. Thank you for that comment. That was very insightful. Thanks. <laughs> Thought it helped. She'll toss the book to the detective. Oh. <laughs> His carry weight. He can't handle it. Oh, I'll also walk I crumble. Over with the detective and it's just like lay the books that I have on the altar that's right here. All right. <clears throat> Hugo, you arrange the books. A certain. You arrange the books on the altar. With the detective's help. He has a little bit more arcane knowledge than I do. With the with the detective's help, and as 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 the pages kind of as the pages kind of come together, you can you they reveal the the spell in its entirety, and you're able to recite the spell completely. And as you do, the port uh the table itself begins to be swallowed up by this portal that opens up. It's like uh opens up on the table, so you gotta climb into it. Oh, hmm. so we just. Should we send Avatar first? Uh, I, I'm honestly surprised that she hasn't already jumped in. All right. Why are you guys yell at me every time I do something? And she's gone. <laughs> well, thank That's you dumb. for heeding our word. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia will jump Let's in after it. her. All right. One by one, all of you jump into this portal and say goodbye to Estandia's mansion and the joy yeah, fuck of this extra place. dimensional <laughs> space. After awaking in the library, we met some more interesting characters. They tried to put us to sleep yet again, but it would seem Apple Bottom might have been a little bit too angry to go to sleep. You you don't know these people anything. Why don't you just go? Because you put me to sleep. I was here looking for a book. And now I'm in the middle of this bowl. <laughs> we didn't put you to sleep, we told you. The one that we serve put you to sleep. For what purpose? Hmm. <sighs> it's really none of your concern. Make another con save for me. Okay. Not our concern. We're asleep. Like we're, we're, we're directly affected. Natty. Nat 20. Yeah. <laughs> he's, in, he's now immune. <laughs> Please. After we all fell asleep, we awoke in a strange forest and we decided to take a rest for the first time since this crazy adventure had begun. It would seem while we were sleeping though, we had some interesting characters stop by. Yeah, they say that pretty loudly and um, the rest of you kind of stir a little bit. Oh, there's gonna be a lot more than stirring. Friends with benefits. <laughs> and Gregory, Gregory's eye, like just one eye just goes open and he's like looking down at it all. And he's looking around to see like where the danger is. Like his hands on his sword, but he's just staying right there. Because if there's no danger, he's not jumping back in. He's not saying nothing. <laughs> Owen like, sits up a little and is just like, "Who the hell are you?" Amelia hears unfamiliar voices and sees unfamiliar people, <laughs> and she's on her feet, maul in hand, like the half dead dragonborn, just like <clears throat> gets up, just... twists an ankle, falls back down. <laughs> uh, the satyrs all jump back and they hide behind Hugo. She I sees Avatel in front of her. Like, hey, no, they're my friends. They're my friends. Yes, with benefits. Uh. <laughs> yeah, with benefits. Friends they're with gonna help us. I don't think that means what you think it means. What do you mean? We're both friends and we get stuff. Okay. Anyway, definitely. they live here and it's all <laughs> magical and stuff. And they're gonna they're gonna help us. And we're gonna help them. Um, and we can still sleep and whatever, just don't kill them, okay? After meeting our new friends, we went on an adventure to meet this wise individual they spoke of. On the way there, we were ambushed by wolves who I tried to befriend, but they didn't seem to like me very much. Thankfully, Elwyn was there to save me from them. Just, like they just like they just got out of a fight. The 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 wounds don't the wounds don't look too fresh, but like they're they're not completely like they're still a little bloody. They're still they're still new. They're not completely fresh though. Will they let me close enough to inspect the wounds to see what caused it? Uh, give me an animal handling check. Detective, sir. be careful. I don't want to have to kill some wolves. Oh, no. <laughs> Elowin was... 
oh. thinking about doing that as well. Rolled an eight. An eight? Uh, uh, Amelia's behind him. You might, so you might need to help. Yeah, eight total. Total? Uh, yeah. As you as you approach them, they, they instinctively begin to step back and snarl, and they all, and they all kind oh. of... Uh, Kind of begin to for, form a semicircle. All right, I that's let a Elwin nat twenty for Elowen. <laughs> hey, that's a nat twenty. Okay, so uh, Elowen, how does this look as as these as um as the oh. detective approaches as Rasputin approaches these wolves? They they lower their heads. They they uh, they bare their teeth. You know, uh, their their tails flare up in in a, in a very um aggressive oh. stance. And, yeah. and they and they begin oh, to like, oh, whoa. 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 whoa you're scaring them. Relax, just stand there and just kind of walk slowly, kind of hunch down a little, like hands out, kind of, and then just kind of stops just ahead of them and is like, mm -hmm. I'm not a, not a druid, not a ranger, okay. And just kind of like <laughs> holds their hands out a little so that they can get the scent of Elowen and is like, come here. I don't know if you can understand <laughs> common. But let me look at your <laughs> There's one that's slightly larger. You kind of sniff like my the alpha or like the one in charge of the uh, of the pack, and he will um, and he will approach you and and sniff your head. And <laughs> smells little... like Daisy by Mark Taper. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's, she's, she's she has yeah. bacon in her pocket. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, it's Joe Malone. Thank you very much. Anyway. <laughs> What? And that? yeah, he. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, with a nat twenty, he he sits in front of you, and the other three do the exact same thing. With our new friends in tow, we continued our adventure forward to find this wise individual, and we ran into a couple more animal companions. These were not as friendly as the last ones, though. Ravens begin to burst forth from Jeez. the uh, <laughs> from the bushes and from the, the trees, and they all begin to swap. <laughs> Make it all, make it all this terrible Fireball. noise. <laughs> make it all this terrible noise, and they go, "Gotcha, gotcha, 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 gotcha!" And they make it, and they're making all this noise, and they're jumping at you, and they fly over you. And some of them, like, some start dropping bombs on you. Yeah, you definitely, you definitely notice something in the, uh, something in the, uh, in the woods, and it, it, it's, it's not rustling as much, and you kind of hear. <sighs> As 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 uh this uh you see a you see a boar a were boar um kind of position itself to uh charge at the wolves. It would seem the search for my lost friend will have to continue as another mystery is yet to be solved in this live record of life. But maybe this is all connected though somehow. Maybe we'll find out next time. Well.